President Joe Biden is in Houston tonight to pay respects to Representative Sheila Jackson Lee ahead of her funeral this week. And earlier, he made news in Austin at a ceremony for the 60th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act. And as our Monica Madden reports, the last two weeks changed the context of President Biden's calls for justice reform as he seeks to cement his legacy during his last two months in office. Thunderous applause for President Joe Biden after addressing civil rights at the LBJ Presidential Library, 60 years after Lyndon B. Johnson signed the landmark Civil Rights Act. To eliminate the last vestiges of injustice in our beloved country. Biden now working to shape his legacy. My career inspired by the cause of civil rights. Highlighting his administration's work to preserve civil rights. We can and must be protected and expand our civil rights in America. And making new calls to reform the nation's highest court, including 18-year term limits and a required code of conduct for justices, as well as a constitutional amendment against presidential immunity. We can and must prevent the abuse of presidential power and restore faith in the Supreme Court. We can and must strengthen the guardrails of democracy. But Biden's proposals face an uphill battle with a divided Congress and mere months left in his presidency, in part thanks to Austin Democrat Lloyd Doggett. He was the first member of Congress to publicly ask Biden to step down. Doggett meeting Biden on the tarmac Monday. It was a brief encounter at the airport where I thanked him for his sacrifice and he thanked me for calling for it. The longtime congressman, hoping history, remembers this well. I think he'll be remembered as a very productive president who accomplished much under great uh, adverse circumstances. Someone who was willing to make a personal sacrifice, putting ego uh, behind. Monica Madden, KXAN News. And the president's speech was not lauded by everyone. Austin's Republican Congressman Michael McCall called it partisan and said it, quote, attempted to scare Americans into supporting his radical overhaul of our nation's highest court. Giving you a little context here on the history of the Supreme